States of Guernsey were looking for a different solution to their solid waste issue. Uh, they've been landfilling for many years, um, but the, the available land is running out. Guernsey's not a very big place, as we all know. So they were looking for a more up-to-date and modern solution. Our role initially was only to provide advice. We are specialists in the waste sector, and we were providing advice as to how Guernsey could deal with its waste. Um, ultimately, once the, uh, the client understood more about our organisation and realised that Wood could be the contractor, we were asked to take on the main contracting role and to work in conjunction with local contractor GM Marine to build this plant. GM Marine is essentially a civil engineering contractor and we were employed by Wood. We were employed by them to undertake the construction work and the area where we've built this plant on, it was just a barren land so there was absolutely nothing here at all apart from waste land. So we've had to put a whole new infrastructure in and that's exactly what we do. So there's drainage, utilities, uh, piling, foundations, you know, steel erection. So roads, the whole lot from, from scratch to what you're seeing, what you're standing on today, all in 18 months. Like in all major projects, uh, we encountered uh, challenges and obstacles throughout the way. Um, but the team worked extremely well together with Geomarine, our main contractor on Ireland and their supply chain, um, and we overcame every uh, single issue that we, uh, that we encountered uh, and finished the project safely uh, and six weeks ahead of schedule uh, and on budget. So a great result. We've actually built this, we started the building work in the worst winter in Guernsey for 17 years. And we're on a peninsula which is surrounded by the sea. So it was a very um, difficult set of conditions to work in. Uh, all credit to the guys who built this plant during those conditions because we didn't lose any time during that. Plus to being on an island, the logistics of getting materials here, some of the specialist equipment had to come in from the Europe or from, from, uh, from the UK. Uh, so getting the stuff in here was also a challenge. But again, we had minimal delays. Again, the transportation systems worked really well. Uh, we did have some delays, but it didn't impact upon the overall programme. Ultimately, I think the job went fantastic. I mean, well, if you look at the physical side of it, the, the job's up and running, it's operating very well. There were obviously a few teething problems. Um, from a construction point of view, it went very smoothly. We, we were fortunate to have a, a fantastic working relationship with both the States of Guernsey, our client, and with Geomarine, our subcontractor. Um, Geomarine are an excellent contractor on the island, um, and we had spent a lot of time creating a very, very strong working relationship with them. So the collaboration the whole way throughout was, was excellent. Um, and, it, and it just meant that, that although we faced some, some challenges, obviously not everything went to plan, we, we could overcome them really quite easily because we had that excellent relationship. It was a great experience working with Wade on this project. They brought a lot to the table, they're a massive company. Um, they brought a lot of experienced people down also brought a lot of experience in health and safety and I think that's where we possibly gained our biggest insight is into the health and safety working on the CDM which was probably the first project on the island to work fully compliant with CDM. This is the best example I've had in my long career of the collaboration working with the clients coming up with the best solution and working with local contractors. We partnered with Geomarine it wasn't a legal partnership it was a, a gentleman's agreement but it worked extremely well and the strength of delivering this project was from the collaboration with the employer, the client, with ourselves and with local company Geomarine and their subsidiary AFM. That was the secret of how we built this thing as we did on time uh, within budget. Well I think now that it's done it's, it's fantastic and it's really, to, uh, really pleasing uh, to see something actually finished. Uh, working with Woods throughout that, um, uh, again as I say, very positive experience. Um, we've got a sustainable solution for dealing with waste in Guernsey and as you might be able to see over my shoulder our recycling rate now up to 65%. Absolutely fantastic and we wouldn't have been able to achieve that if we hadn't have implemented the, the systems and the solutions and this building and the, the processing plant within it is all part of a very big picture that has, has finally come together.